Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 24. And yes, I'm cutting down a tree. Goes against every single principle we have of this series. But we will compensate and we'll show you in a little while exactly what we're going to do. Let's just cut this down. And yeah, the reason why we're cutting this tree down is because it is interfering with our daily work of uh, collecting our flowers to take down to the market. So we've just made that a little bit clearer or a little bit more spaced to work through there. What we'll do is we'll just take this up into the little forest area at the top here. We'll leave it up there to decay and perhaps some of the wildlife will be able to use it. And what we'll do is we'll place we'll plot we'll place and plant <laughs> a fully grown tree somewhere up in this area just to replace it. So the net carbon effect will probably actually be positive because we'll have a bigger tree. Then again, over time, the trees probably won't last as long. So we've just replaced the tree. Let's put it that way. Let's not try and make ourselves heroes now. <laughs> oh dear. What are we going to put up? Old spruce. It looks like everything, the same trees as everything else there. That's good. All done. And we have a little bit of working space now. Down there. Well, let's get back into the episode. We're just going to run through our money-making routine for the morning. Just go through the product that we've taken through to the market. There's a really, really good income from mushrooms there. Over 50 grand. We're going to pick up the flowers and we'll pick up the rest of everything. We're just to sh just to show you where the money's coming from because... Um, We'll do that for the next couple of episodes um, when we when we change over months just to keep you up to speed with where the money's coming from. The bulk of this episode is probably going to be done in a time lapse because it's pretty much just the harvesting of the of the wheat fields. I had a major problem with the harvesting of the potato fields um, and that will be an episode on its own once we finish the harvesting of all the other crops. Just to show you what went on and I just couldn't work it out eventually, I think I did work it out, but I would lost a lot of the crop. But we'll go through that just as a separate, it might be quite a short episode, but um, I think it warrants just a mention on its own and perhaps some of you guys can when we get to that episode can tell me where I went wrong I think I know where I went wrong but I'm not sure at any event that will come up in the near future let's get back and go and make our first collection from our pick your own orchard so as I mentioned when we built the orchard the we will it every every month we will collect the the product from the orchards and that will simulate and we'll sell it only in our farmers markets our own farmers market in other words the farmers market that's in the center of the of the green 
we'll sell everything there regardless of the price and that will simulate people having bought directly from us it's a little bit cumbersome I know but um, I can't think of any other way to do it um, short of changing some scripts or whatever and writing new programs which is way above my pay grade <laughs> in the event so we've got two pallets of from each orchard so we've got four pallets of apples two apricots and we've got five apples looks like it one two looks like five apples no it's not it's four and two um, apricot and two plums and that's going to bring in this wasn't a full day's production it's probably going to be one more of each in uh, in a full month's production but still let's have a look and see how much this brings in Our bank balance is starting to look pretty healthy. <laughs> and it brings in... It's over 4,000, wasn't it? Couldn't quite see that it was against the green. But yeah, so that's a bit more income coming there. And we've still got the... We've certainly made over 100,000 this month. We've still got the eggs and the bread and the noodles to deliver. Go. That's another nice little bit of income. Another ten grand there, and another four, four or so thousand, I would imagine, coming from here. Yeah, just on four thousand. And there we're sitting at one hundred thirty-seven thousand. Can you believe it? I don't think we've ever ever been there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Now time to get started on the harvest. Sunflower is not for this month, but the sorghum is, and the rest of the wheat. So today's episode we will deal with the wheat. Right, let's get into the harvester and get going. Pretty straightforward the, the harvesting. I did use some, um, did get some help from from uh, people in the town. We had some workers going, which is good because it means we starting to um, starting to get to a stage where we are able to. Um, employ some of the, t uh, the town folk and that's always going to be a really good a really good thing let's <laughs> put it that way you know so we create a bit of economic prosperity or further economic prosperity in the town in any case we'll just let this rip through on a bit of a time lapse and we'll get back to you a little further down the line.
Right, you're back with me. And we're just going to get a worker onto the job. We've got a fellow who came up from from town and is going to get going. In the meantime, we're going to go and spend some money. So we're going to get ourselves another tractor. We've got a bit of we've got a bit of capital at the moment, and the idea was to get another tractor and then get started on the potato harvest but as I said I ran into some problems there <laughs> and yeah it's going to be a whole episode on its own it's probably going to be quite funny but it wasn't at the time in any event let's just change the color of this tractor to something slightly different just so that I know which is which which is the new attractor there we go our brand new Hurleyman exactly the same as the other except for the color and the age <laughs> I must say it does work pretty well as electric tractors go right so we need to get a topper and we need to get a harvester for the potatoes so I didn't really think it through and I think it was one of the problems with the potato uh, thing is I should have really tried to keep fairly straight fields we do have straight fields um, simply because of the size of this harvester and the clumbersome nature of using it but that wasn't what the real problem was the real problem well I'm going to leave it for the for the uh, for the episode where I, I take you through the whole thing because um, it took me a while to work out what was actually going on This is of course also a result of me not doing a lot of uh, root crop farming um, and especially not traditional root crop far farming um, using the small harvester I, normally if I'm doing root crops now I use something like the Colossus or something along those lines even though I don't use it at full unrealistic um, in full unrealistic mode I normally do do use some of the f unrealistic features just because of the of the tedious nature and some people may enjoy doing it so if I've offended any potato or sugar beet farmers <laughs> I'm sorry but yeah I, I, most of it well I, I would think that some of it was the fact that I haven't used this equipment for a long time it's not an excuse it's a my bad situation I'll just get it started and just to give you an idea you may have already you may already pick up some mistakes that I've made the first one is I really should have just top the first a well a um, a headland I'm never quite sure where the pickup works so it is working slightly off center so so maybe not too far out but in any case we'll get back to that in an episode and you guys can give me some hopefully constructive advice but if you want to take the mickey that's cool as well <laughs> right let's get back to the wheat so the work has just finished on that field and done a pretty good job I might say missed a little bit at the top there but it was a fairly easy field to get done so we will just mop that up ourselves and we'll get onto the onto the last field 
we are getting nowhere near enough wheat to become self-sufficient we are going to have to increase as quickly as we can increase our field capacity to be able to supply ourselves without having to buy in without having to buy in food I was thinking about arbitraging the wheat selling the wheat because we could get a much higher price for the wheat and buying in the barley and I haven't quite decided on that I know we had we have done that with uh, we are doing that with the with the manure and should we do it for, with this um, I'm thinking about it but this probably will be a good idea money wise that's the other thing is which is quite neat was uh, I didn't really need the trailer because the uh, the silos were so close here I've just been nipping along and uh, offloading directly from the from the harvester so I think this is the second full load that's gone in so I think we're looking at around about 16,000 litres at this stage and we've still got the really big field to do and we've got the small one at the back there to do as well This, is, this one's a little bit odd shaped so um, we will put a worker on there until they get confused <laughs> and then I'll take over and finish it off myself the one thing we are getting is a lot of straw so we will definitely be self-sufficient certainly for a large part of the year on uh, straw for the pigs no I'm not going to cut down that tree I'll drive around it <laughs> let's do a nice little headland I think we'll set the work off. And off they go.
Well, you're back with me now. These last little bits are basically a combination of workers. So we did have some workers going for a little while on the top field. Um, they got stuck. It's, it's, it's a strange f field. Uh, I don't think they actually got stuck. They just uh, the hopper got full, and I just took over then because. Um, I just wanted to get it sorted myself and we now just doing the last pass on the small field and then that's the wheat done we have brought in the wheat we'll get this delivered and then that's where we will end this episode In the next episode we will uh, handle the sorghum and we'll we'll deliver that most probably directly into the pigs because that is uh, base feed with this grain with with the grains I still have to kind of decide because I have to um, split it between the grains for or the or the grains requirement for the pigs and of course our our chickens feed for our chickens um, I'm, st I'm uh, umming and eyeing about how I'm going to do that with what I have this season. It looks like I'm going to have to buy in um, grains still. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to pan out. In any event, let's get this into the into the silos. But in the next couple of episodes, we'll we'll work it out. Oh, oh, oh dear, dear! Oh, we're damaging our our least harvester. <laughs> in any case, we'll get that in, and we'll have a look quickly and see how much we've we've got. And then we'll end the episode there. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate your support. If you've enjoyed this and enjoying the series, please do like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.